Hello, this is TikTok. Many of you have been asking me in my last video about uh, how to uh, configure the mouse yoke for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator that you would also like to temporarily disable it so that you can click the buttons in the cockpit and move the camera around. In Virtual Controller, there is an option to enable and disable it by pressing F5 and Shift F5, but this doesn't work inside the sim because it only works when the virtual controller is in the foreground. So I had to find another solution for this problem. As you can see here on the video, when I hold the key down, I can move the camera around without the plane going crazy. So let's get started. Now we will start setting up uh, a key that we can hold so that we can move our mouse around uh, to uh, change the view and click buttons with our mouse. And this is a continuation from my last video, so if you haven't watched it, please watch it and set it up as you will need to do that to do what's happening in this video. So first what we need to do is open up virtual controller, and this needs to be opened up in a specific way because it might be running in the background. As you see, this is in the foreground, but there's also background processes in um, Task Manager, so make sure you click on virtual controller in the task manager and press end task or if you don't do this it won't work and it will get confused so make sure you put end task here and make sure there's no virtual controller anywhere then you open up virtual controller and it's here then you go to settings IO devices and set up a keyboard and press enabled I've already got a tick just tick it and then you can close this Next, what you need to do is go to controls and uh, bind and press create. Now you set up a keyboard here, button, and then for this you can select any button you want. Just make sure it's not used for something else in the flight simulator. And I found that the comma is safe, that it's not used anywhere, and uh, for modifier it's hold. And then output, we will want VJoy, Axis, X, and this is release. Release will neutralize it. So make sure it's released and then press OK. And then for the, uh, now we can copy this one and paste it and then just change this to Y. And then that's done. Press X and then we can press run. Now we will launch the simulator to check everything works. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Once we've set it up, we can launch Flight Simulator and press Main Run. This will activate our controller, and as you can see, the lines move as my mouse moves. Now we can test the new uh, option we've added. When we press the comma key, or whatever key you've selected, the lines are kept as close to the middle as possible. It's not perfect, but it's good enough, and I've tested it, and uh, I'm happy with it. And this means they're neutralized, so you can move the camera around without it's uh, interfering with the control of the plane uh, and uh, this can also be used to uh, reset your neutral positions because if I release it uh, in the middle this will be the neutral position and now I can move from here if you want your neutral position to be somewhere in uh, the corner then you can uh, hold it and then release it in the corner and then you've changed the neutral position to somewhere else so uh, now we've got it ready and we can start flying. As you can see on the video here, after I take off, I can hold my comma key and then move the mouse to move the camera so I can look around in the plane without the plane going crazy. So I hope this video helped and you enjoyed it. If it did, please press the like button and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any ideas uh, for what videos I could make next, then please put them down in the comment section below so I know what you are interested in watching and maybe what you would like to learn to do in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, 
See you next time.